Hello everybody, my name is Chris and this will be my review for Mission Possible The Reckoning Part 1. Now a quick synopsis of the film first. Now Ethan Hum and his AI Math crew are back into action on a mission to obtain this other half of a key keep the key reminding you of that the the terrorists and the war superpowers are also after it because he or gained them access to this ai that could literally control the world so you know they're racing across the globe there's a new villain here who is a part of ethan hunt's past from before he was in the mf so it's kind of uh, personal and the gun roll again so you know how it goes and there you have it that's the platform mission impossible that reckoning part one now this is one of my favorite franchise i instantly fall in love with this franchise since the first film since the first mission impossible and i was like oh my god i love this and i just enjoy following the franchise for the story the espionage all of it and the crazy stunts especially now that it's part of the reason why we go to see the Mission Impossible films is to see what insane stunt uh, is Tom Cruise going to execute and still look perfect in every way. So that reckoning part one, this is a huge film. It's obviously part one of two, so it's a big long story. And this I think is the longest film in the franchise, so about like two hours and forty three minutes. Now the second act uh, e e of this film is is tall a little bit, uh, but the first act kicks off with a bang. In in fact, the first few minutes is excellent. I was like living. It was living up to my hype. I was so happy taking it all in. The sound design. There's a scene where they're in the desert. And normally like in a high action scene. They would put some soundtrack over They didn't do that. They just used the environment. And what was happening in the action scenes. At its own sound and it really puts you into that space with them you feel like you were there it was really incredible I'll use your suspects are back here Ethan Hahn, Elsa, Benji, Luther, uh, Kik Kittrich is back I love the team I love Elsa so I really enjoy getting to see her in action that's Rebecca Ferguson's character she's phenomenal now but we also have some newcomers a uh, Paul Clement, uh, Clementif uh, being one of them and I watch her and she's not a character of many words but she's kick ass and what's funny is like her personality to me it played like harley queen and that's palm's character her name is paris we have another character introduced in this one uh, her name is grace uh, played by Helly artwell and I enjoy her character because it was fresh and the way she kind of uh, stumbles on the team she's the one that tries all these like she's the catalyst or uh, almost in in a way she's like the roadblocks in the way and she's not a part of this world so she's a thief and she does have some skills and she does get to meet the teen and their dynamics and it's kind of a in, uh, interesting one grace is like what is like this uh, super spy world like uh, uh, 
we we people chasing which a source and we her character they infuse some humor into this movie and it's not like they never had humor humor as absolutely have been in this franchise before and when they play uh, up and break up those intense moments they are really fantastic now the rest of the cast uh, uh, Rebecca Ferguson for the amount of time that she has here she I think she did a phenomenal job but she's she's not in it that much i would say that but when she's there she's effective literally shop up um screen we also have simon peck it's always a, a delight seeing him in this franchise it's just uh, one of those characters that, that instantly you see him put a smile on your face we have half a sincere a uh, looter coming back here uh, Vanessa Kirby, great performance here, and I love all of her scenes in this movie. And the rest of the cast is really good. Now, the action and the stunts obviously was popping up like it was definitely 10 by 10. Uh, Tom Cruise was Tom Cruise and he's such a movie star like you give him anything and he can handle it like I said it before it's like the second act kind of uh, is where it store a little bit because they were setting up the exposition they're trying to develop with Harley's uh, uh, character a little bit along with other characters this film has some chases in there they were really good and this is really the build up for just the big finale in part two now the big motorcycle stand that Tom Cruise does that involves a cliff is insane because as you were watching you can tell exactly when the heart uh, started to turn on his face like he, he, he's got a to be an actor i gotta find my angle i, I gotta find my my camera and i got to perform this storm because if that motorcycle was off even by a little bit it could end very bad so that sequence was amazing the action scenes they are stupendous action scenes in here the one you see teasing in the trailers a lot of the time where Tom Cruise is and Halle Atwell uh, who are like handcuffed while inside of car I would say is one of my favorite action scenes of this movie they have a great bounce of, of a scene that was really exciting also making the tire lie intentionally that uh, similar to the one in in fast 10 i believe they, they actually shoot on the same location but it, with the sequence in mission impossible it, it it was done a lot more better because he, you can feel like the stance here and it felt much real than the fast 10 and the train the train sequence was phenomenal one of the best action scenes i ever seen and it was like we can keep it going it, it was insane i had a blast watching this film from start to finish uh, it's a great story with fantastic a cast and characters the action was amazing and if you are a mission impossible fan go see it if not see it as well this can t turn you into a fan i don't think you really need to see the previous mission impossible films to get this one i feel like almost every a film is pretty much a standalone but they are going to be like minor things brought up from the previous films that will be nice thing to know ahead of time so i think this one is definitely the best of, of the franchise and this is 
a weird franchise and since the Mission Impossible 2 I think since that movie then got them bigger and bigger and better with each installment so I think that's very difficult to do and I think Mission Impossible Fallout was the best of the franchise it was I think very hard to top that but this movie does that I think this one is by far the best one yet so I can't wait for part 2 so that's my review for Mission Impossible The Reckoning Part 1 if you enjoyed this video hit the like button consider subscribing to the channel thank you for watching see you guys later bye bye